Well, Transformers Age of Distinctions, a movie that I just recently just saw on Paramount Plus. So I decided to like go back, so I decided what I should do with this like go back to other f- old films I just haven't seen and review them. I, I've i recorded the Lego movie and 21 Jump Street. I may have planned to watch, I may watch those. So, and then review them, but, but I'm not, but, so yeah, just stay tuned for those upcoming reviews. So, but first, let's start off with Age of Extinctions, and oh boy, let's really start off with Age of Extinctions. Because, I love old, because honestly, to me, this film pretty much sums up, sums up, pretty sums up, the Transformers franchise as as whole, a run on, Warfest. And so far, yes, this is the worst out of the Transformers franchising. Yes, I have not seen last night. I plan on seeing it, but who knows? It's probably gonna be worse than this. But let's take a look at Age of Extinctions. So, so the plot of the film is that. 65 years ago, an alien race called the Craters used device to send seeds to Earth, wiping out the dinosaur process, says. And apparently, you got a dad who's inventing stuff, the stuff, and he comes across a Transformer called Optimus Prime, who's apparently on the run from the CIA. CIA, apparently. And that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. So, let's get one thing out of the way. The plot confused. Now, you will say that this film literally has almost a little to no plot. That's because, I mean, if you, because, because this film literally has almost no plot. It's just stuff happening it's because, because, oh, action scenes. And that's one of my problems with the film is that it relies more on action scenes than telling an actual plot. I mean, it does have a plot, but it's kind of more of the runaway plot. It's like, oh, we don't want, oh, like, Oh, we're running away from this, from this. We're running away from that. I mean, I'm are, are, are pretty sure a lot of us is getting tired of runaway plots like this. This. And considering my review about Jurassic World, how much I do not like when they use over, overused plot tropes, Transformers Age of Extinction did fall, fall in that plot because apparently we have apparently we have this whole whole scene about, oh, girl can... But other people... Because the girl... Yeah, that's the plot of... Oh, girl wants to do this, and apparently she can't do it. I mean, this feels like early Jurassic World dominant, even though well, man, and yeah, this feels like Jurassic World dominant. And yes, even though it, even though Age of Extinction came out back in twenty fourteen, so apparently it came first. It still has the same problems as Jurassic Demo- Jurassic World dominant. At least with Jurassic, but however, at least with Jurassic dominant, at least the action scenes were a plus, even though were a plus, but. Here, that's come to my biggest problem. Another problem, the action scenes. Now, I will admit the the last. I mean, they were. I mean, I will admit that the visual effects for them are really amazing, but ooh, but they just don't really hold my focus up. They really don't hold my attention, and yeah, and they just come across this. You know, besides, man, and you want to know something? But yeah, the action scenes don't hold my attention, and yeah, and do nothing. Often they're just cheap fighting robot. They're just cheap robot fighting scenes that you pretty much already saw if you re- if you've re- if you've already seen the, la- the the previous three Transformers films. And also, I'm pretty sure this is probably going to be really disappointing. But apparently, why did I get the feeling that I found the human characters more interesting than the uh, than the Transformers themselves? Which is a big problem because this is a Transform film, and yet the human and I found the human characters more more amusing, more more and it's, and the human characters are more more. And I found the humor characters more, and I found the humor characters more watchable than the Transformers themselves, which is just depressing. Uh, that doesn't mean the human characters are, are are safe safe from negatives. Oh no, they still have their faults. The character personalities are so confusing. Apparently, I just can't. I uh, this is just one of those characters that I can't even decide who to root for, or to just feel scorn for. I don't even know if I should, I should praise. The dad or scold him. I, mean, I don't know because these characters, because 
Yeah, because the characters have no per little to no personalities. Because, I mean, I mean the I mean the the dad is just the a just the the typical generic inventor that won't let her girl do stuff. The daughter is just some steer some typical teenage girl, and the and the acting is just bad, especially when they insult people and that the the insults they use are just so cheesy and just so like lustered. Lustered. Oh yeah, like I said, the acting's bad, bad, bad. And I just okay, I think I just said that. Oh yeah, there's one scene that I really got annoyed at. Is that is that when there's like there's like a car chase going around, and then all of a sudden we have the scene where robots are fighting. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we are we am I watching a robot? Am I watching robots fight then or a car chase? Where. With focus on one creators, we don't don't try to shove everything to a screen just to appeal for kids. And oh wait, man, and oh wait, I think I'm the reason why this film was film succeed is because oh, Dark of Moon succeed in the box office. We got pulling another sequel. Oh boy, and also why do we keep getting these Transformers sequels if they're gonna if they're gonna keep worse? In fact, Rise of Beats comes out it's gonna come out next year, and I'm not looking forward to that because. It's gonna have the same problems. As, it's gonna have the same problem as the Age of Extinction, and better yet, last night. If I if I can go see if I if I see last night, night, then it's probably last night's gonna have the same problems as this, but ten times worse. And and that's and the ending was on. I feel like the ending was just rush, like Jurassic World Dominant. It just ends, rush. The everything's safe, but then. And just and it feels like the ending was just and then the ending just ends on a cliffhanger. We just don't we don't see what happens next to the family, Emily or what. And I mean we do know what Ultimate Prime will be doing. We saw doing, but I don't know. The ending just feels like feel, the ending just feels rushed to me. I mean yeah, I'm sorry I'm running out of things to say about Transformers: Age of Extinctions, but but what more can I say about the film? This film. Oh, I also I learned, and this is my biggest criticism with the film: the runtime. This film is two hours and forty five minutes long, aka one hundred sixty five minutes. Why did you do that? Why make? Why think a good? Why make a a two hour long snooze fest was a good idea, Paramount? Oh, and that annoying robot dog. Just, ugh. I mean, yeah, there is some annoying parts, but the runtime is just. There are, I mean, yes, there are some good things about, like, like I said, the visual effects are good, and I also like to joke about the how sequels are bad nowadays. Well, except for a few, but that's it. Transformers: Extinction is just a snooze fest. It drags on for too long, and yeah, this film gets a two out of ten, and it's better. And honestly, if it's a two out of ten, and this is a film that if you're a fan of Transformers. Then, you're then you're probably gonna get something out of the film. This film, you're probably gonna get something out of this film. But for me, it's the worst film of twenty fourteen. So so far, for, well not so far. It's just overall, it's the worst film of twenty fourteen. Well, at least with other at least with other films like Annie, at least they don't drag on for so long. I mean they do, but at least there it's actually watchable like, compared to this sport fest. So yeah. I give I'm giving Transformers Age of Extinction like I said a two out of ten and it's a film I I highly do not recommend do not recommend. Just go go back to watching the 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 original Transformers live action film or better yet, just just go back to the two thousand seven film. Just don't bother with this. Ooh okay so that was it for my review on this film. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel and I'll be I'll be sure to upload more movie reviews that I plan on review plan on making a bunch this month so well not really but who knows but anyways thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time